Earth is probably semi-sentient. Um, I have no idea the level of sentience that would actually be there. Um, I went over it in another video where Earth might actually be trying to, or the biosphere anyway, the planet itself might not be doing that, but the, the AI like nature of the genetic code <laughs> that constructs a ton of our biosphere might to a certain extent anyway um, which would lead credence to why would a sentient species like this exist a sentient species like this would probably exist because a planet which exists in the middle of space and managed to form life has had massive disruptions to its bio cycles from external and internal influences and it understands that a slow evolutionary process might actually require more quick concise understanding actions to save or recover systems that stabilize the biosphere it would literally mean that ever since the ecosphere of earth became destabilized forever ago that would mean that the biosphere of earth registered a destabilization or an incapability of stabilizing itself without a more intelligent interactor on a smaller scale so it's been progenerating different evolutionary attempts over time to create an intelligent enough species within its biosphere to actually be able to interact with these things to stabilize the processes. There's probably not even a guarantee we can. Like, that's the thing, is like, this is just evolution throwing shit at a wall making sure that the biosphere doesn't break like <laughs> i mean not to take anything it would literally mean that you evolved to save the world <laughs> we're just not sure if you can so if you could try somehow that would be great um it leads credence to a whole bunch of neurological developments pushes to have certain evolutionary pathways of different types of thought i made a video about like how religion might even be tied into that because there could be tendencies to promote different type of neurologies in evolution to give specific intelligent creatures drives to do specific types of things within the environment to interact with it more to spread out across everything kind of and like synchronize with different stuff notice patterns more and i mentioned the whole like the two subspecies that we happen to be derived from one was a huge pattern recognition and the other thing was paranoid about everything and spread everywhere so like even those two divergent evolutions breeding together would semi lead some credence to that system because like I don't know if you're looking at it large scale like like shit went south a long time ago and we're here not because the environment is stable but because the environment is so distable and not capable of sustaining itself without some sort of interaction. <sighs> I don't know. That's my rant on that. You can do with it as you wish. There's a lot of information to have to go through to actually, like, do something with it. <laughs>